Halo guys, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Seeing it with me, Faradila Mayansari Today, I will tell you about narrative text I have a title, Jaka Taruk and Nawang Bulan Okay, let's start it Jaka Taruk was a handsome and diligent young man He lived in a village near the lake One day, when he passed by the lake He heard some giggles and laughed some girls who were tapping in the lake. He was curious, so he peeped through the bushes and wow, there were seven beautiful girls in the lake. They were fairies from heavenly kingdom of Kayan. Chekatarup's soul stood near the bushes. It belonged to one of the fairies and then he took it and hide it. But, crack, accidentally, check a bottom step on a tree. Shh, there's someone. Let's get back. Hurry, hurry up. Say to one of the first. They all over where their scarf, but, where is my scarf? Asked the youngest fairies called Nawangula. They all tried to search it, but there was nowhere to be found. Then, we were sorry, Ulan. We have to go back to Kayan. Say, the all the spirits. You have to find it by yourself. We will wait for you in Kayan. She said in empathy. And then, they all <coughs> flew to the sky, leaving now Ulan behind. Awang Bulan saw them living in tears. She was so sad. Oh, uh, excuse me. Say, check a bit. Are you okay? Starting with Awang Bulan. Who are you? Awang Bulan of the people. My name is Jakarta. When I passed by the lake, I heard you crying. So I come here to see what happened. Chakataru polite and then Nawang Bulan tell him about her problem. I cannot fly without my scarf. Then Chakataru asked her to follow him to go home. Certainly at first Nawang Bulan refused the offer. But since she didn't have anywhere else to go, she decided to follow him. Nawang Bulan lived in a village with Chakataru. A month passed. They decided to get married because Nawang Wulan was Nawang Wulan willing to marry human because she fell in love with Chakataru. And did you know what happened after a year? Yeah, of course. They have a beautiful daughter. They named her Kumala Sari. Chakataru was also happy to live with Nawang Wulan and Kumala Sari. Especially because he always got a lot of harvest in his barn since she married Nawang Bulan. He couldn't even keep all of his all of his harvest in the barn because it was always full. It's so weird. Nawang Bulan cooked every day, but why is my barn always full? She mumbled to himself. So one day he decided to stay at home. I want to stay at home today. I'd like to play with Kumalasan. He said with his wife. Um uh, okay. I will go to the river to wash the clothes. Please keep an eye of Kumalasan, she said. Uh much more. Uh I'm cooking rice now, but please do not open the pan cover before it's done. Now one woman said before she left. Could this be secret? It was curious. Then Chukatau started to open the pen cover. How come? Just single baby? Before lunch, she headed to the kitchen to see the rice she had cooked. But she was so shocked because the rice just turned into few grains. 
Did you open the band cover? She asked. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I was so curious. Chokataru answered like as he realized his fault. And then, ever since Nawang Wulan held lost her power, she couldn't cook with one single baby. The baby supply was slowly lessened and their barn was almost empty. And one day, she went to the barn to get some baby. Huh? What is that? This is my scarf! See, Nawang Wulan started. That night, Nawang Wulan talked with her husband. Chekataru's eyes widened. Uh, you found it? Chekataru asked for her forgiveness. Because I found my scarf, it's time to me to go back to where I belong. She said, Chekataru tried to stop her, but Nawangwan had made up her mind. Sorry, I have to go back to Kayana. Please take care of Kumalasari, she said. If she wanted to see me, please take seven grains of candle to the basket and then shake it like as you played Bamboo Field, she explained. Chakataru promised to take good care of Kumalasari and she asked once again for all of his mistakes. I've forgiven you, so you don't feel guilty. I must go now. Please, take care. And then, Nawang Bulan flew to the bright full moon. That's all uh, my narrative text about Chakatar and Nawang Bulan. Thank you for your attention. Hopefully, it will uh, entertain you. Uh, thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.